I have a simple dessert using some sweet French brioche that wouldn't look out of place in a patisserie. I'm going to make a brioche frangipan apple pudding, and it is very classy, but simplicity itself. So let's get going. You can buy brioche very easily in the supermarket. You don't have to trot over to Paris or France to get it. I've got a generously buttered dish ready to go. So just get the bread, push it into the side, and can you see it can take shape? The brioche will give the perfect buttery base, and it's so easy, just squeeze them in. Do it in a single layer and work each piece in. Last piece going in. So my juice war is finished. That's the brioche base finished and now for the frangy pan. My rich almond frangy pan is simple to make, especially in a food processor. In goes the butter. Blitz together with 175 grams of caster sugar until smooth. And away we go. That was quite simple. To bring out the classic almondy flavour, add a teaspoon of almond extract. Don't muddle almond extract with almond essence. Extract is the real thing and it's stronger. There it is. Followed by 175 grams of ground almonds, three eggs and 25 grams of flour. That was really very easy. Smooth over the top of the brioche. And then we'll just put apple on top. For the perfect balance of sweet and tartness, I'm using Braeburn's. Start from the outside and put one in. And then let them just gently overlap. Now this will rise up and it will be beautiful. It goes in the oven at 180 fan and it will take about 40 minutes. Finally, a glaze of apricot jam that's been thinned out with a drop of hot water. And I've got a bit of apricot to put in the middle there. And sprinkle over toasted almonds. I'm very pleased with it, and I think it looks really posh. There you have it. Buttery apple frangipan tart. What could be better? This is definitely right at the top of my favourite simple puds. <laughs>